Hello folks, this is Gabor reporting from Shopron Hungary and I am happy to announce that my last debt that I promised is almost done because tomorrow I'm going to post my interview that I made with Omar. Now what's the point of these interviews and who is Omar? Well, to answer the first question, <clears throat> these interviews point to actually show people who are living amongst us and can be interesting or actually are interesting at least for me and I think if they're interesting for me they are, might be interesting for other people too so what I'm looking for now is, is inspiration stories around me around myself because I think that there are people around us that we can learn from and if you are looking at people like Zuckerberg or um, <clears throat> uh, who is the other asshole, like uh, not Mark uh, uh, with, with Tesla, Musk, Musk, yes, you know, like uh, uh, we can, of course, learn to be fantastic um, egocentric sociopaths, but it's, it's not my goal anymore. It's, it certainly used to be once upon a time but uh, not at the moment if anything i want to move away from this uh, from this sort of world and uh, i want to well inspire myself or at least uh, to get to know other perspectives how life can be how is it that i can take as lessons learned from others and omar is a fantastic guy for that because uh, this guy is actually a half blood half Panamanian and half uh, Libyan and he lived through the war so this guy because he is a half blood he's not really 100% Arabic but also not 100% Latino he has a mix of both so he needs to he needed to actually fit into the society that is an Arabic society in Libya and then live through the war so these two factors gave him a lot of hardships and yet he is not so much resentful about it. He is actually grateful for the hardship that uh, his life has given to him. Why? Because he is more resilient. And this actually fits into my narrative that I'm usually pushing is that we on the West now I stop because, you know, is Hungary and Poland and all the countries that I'm around really part of the West? Well, we want to be. Okay, so for convenience purposes, I am saying that we are part of the West. So we are on the West and we tend to be pussies. You know, we are really soft. We are super comfortable. We are creating problems where there are no problems. And this is uh, the lifestyle that we are living. Basically, we can't really be grateful for all the fantastic things that our countries provide for us, including myself. I'm really resentful many times about stupid bullshit. So Omar inspires me to be actually grateful for what I have and to listen to his story and think about Shit, you know, if, if the war in Ukraine spreads, will I actually be able to survive? You know, if, even if it's going to be not war, but something else, like an economic collapse or just a deep crisis, like, what well, what is it that I'm going to do? What's... Uh, you know, am, am I ready? Like, will my system survive will i break under the weight these are the questions that i had and listening to omar gives me some hope that even if something bad happens it can prove that yes i am just a pussy and i'm going to break for because of the smallest hardship or actually life is going to give me challenges that um, that 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 can uh, make me harder and eventually harder to break more resilient and more fit to life because i think the more resilient we are the better life we can build 
So follow please Omar, the interview with him. And you know, I want to assure you that we don't uh, only cover hard topic because we are, especially towards the end, uh, talking about very lighthearted ones like uh, dating as a foreigner in Poland, about uh, potentially marrying a Polish woman, or how life is as an expat in Poland. And it's actually pretty good. That's, this is spoiler alert. It's, it's pretty good. And um, I, I think it's still good to try. All in all, I'm not going to spoil anything more. All I'm saying is that I think it was a fantastic interview. I learned a lot towards it and I'm super grateful for Omar for accepting my invitation for the interview. Please uh, check it out and tell me what you think later. And all I can promise, all I want to promise is that there is going to be more of these interviews because there are many other interesting people and many times they don't know that they are actually interesting and I will bring them to you. Stay tuned for... What is it? Because it's not Gabor Speaks anymore, right? It is uh, the podcast of Gabor Speaks. No, oh, fuck. No, the po podcast of HGZ. The podcast of HGZ. Check it out on Spotify. Cheers.